Hi, my name is Brenda Clayton, and I'm a volunteer for the Victoria Brain Injury Society, also known as VEBUS. I am also the survivor of a brain injury. Back in 1982, I was a grade one teacher in Salmo, BC, and I loved my job. Outside of teaching, I was an athlete. I downhill skied, I cross country skied, I hiked, I biked, I canoed. I played ladies tennis, ladies basketball. Oh no, I played ladies soccer, ladies basketball, and I played in tennis tournaments. So I was in really good shape. I came home to Victoria for my 10 year high school reunion. I'm a graduate of Esquimalt High School. And on my way back to Salmo, I was involved in a head-on collision. I was critically injured. I was taken to Kelowna Hospital, where I spent six days in a coma. Now, when you come out of a coma, it's not like waking up in the morning. You come out of a coma, and you don't know who you are, where you are, or what has happened. Your life begins again. I did know my mom and dad, they came in to visit me, but this young man came in to visit me and I would say to my mom, who is that? And she said, that's your husband. And I said, but I'm not married. She said, yes, you are. You've been married for two years. Well, that was news to me. Um, aside from my memory, my brain injury caused Temporary paralysis on my right-hand side, total blindness in my left eye. I'm still 90% blind in this eye. And epilepsy. I had to get taking medication for my epileptic seizures. I still take medication. I spent two months in the hospital for neurological therapy and physiotherapy. I had to learn how to walk, how to dress myself how to feed myself. Then I got to go home with a husband I didn't remember. I spent my first few years recuperating, going to therapy as an outpatient at Nelson Hospital and swimming. I could still swim. So I would do therapy, swim and sit in the hot tub. I started to volunteer at the school where I used to teach. I wasn't driving, so my friends would come in and pick me up. I couldn't remember the names of my fellow teachers, let alone the names of the kids in the class. I was still having petite mal seizures. That means I would hallucinate. For example, I'm teaching grade two and I look out the window and I saw a giraffe. Well. There was no giraffe out there. I realized I was not ready to be a teacher yet. My husband, who had stayed with me for three years, said that he was going to leave me because he was too intelligent for a brain damaged wife. So I called my mom and dad and they came and got me and moved me home to Victoria. I was very lonely. I accepted the fact that I wouldn't teach again, but I didn't know what I was going to do. My ICBC support worker suggested that I go to the Victoria Brain Injury Society. I had an interview with a case manager who suggested I go to peer support. Wow, that was amazing. Vibus also has support groups such as music therapy, art therapy and mindfulness. One class is Acquired Brain Injury 101. I have never taken that, but I'm going to sign up for it because I hear it's really interesting. We have Coping Strategies, which is a 25 week program for people with acquired brain injury. Equine Assisted Learning, which is an educational experience with horses as teachers. I don't know how that works, but apparently everybody who takes it loves it. Vibus offers case management, 
We provide support and education for families, couples, and signified loved ones of brain injured survivors. The Victoria Brain Injury Society is really grateful to the United Way because without your funding, we could not provide these programs to survivors of brain injuries.